Typically, transitions between scenes look something like this. Let's fix this. To add a transition, click on this button. We can see here in the default is the cut transition. Let's click on the Add Transition button. I'll call it Transition 1 and select the transition type of Stinger. And let's select a transition from our package. You can choose whatever you want. But for example, I choose Transition 7. Here I will enter Transition Point 700. This can be purely found by ordinary testing, usually from 500 to 2500, depending on the transition animation. Switch default to Transition 1. Well, now we have one transition working for all scenes. But how can we make different transitions work for different scenes? I will show you now. Click on this button again to open the transition settings. Let's add another transition from our package. I'll call it Transition 2. I will set it as Default Transition 2. And now I want to make that when switching to the starting, ending, post scenes, Transition 1 is triggered. And when I switch to all other scenes, Transition 2 is triggered. Let's open the transition settings again. And now let's go to the Connections tab. And now let's add a new connection. The beginning scene will be all. Scene Transition 1, Ending Scene Starting. I will add the same connections for the ending and pause scenes. And now Transition to Works as the main one, but when we switch to the starting, pause, ending scenes, Transition 1 is triggered. That's all. This way you can diversify your stream.